Hi, my name is Tamás, and yeah, yeah, I can handle uh, remote. Yeah, I've got. Yeah, never mind. Uh, so, if you look at the screen, yeah, there is my name over there. There is one more thing over there. It's the shadow, right? And the shadow doesn't do much. It just is there, right? I cannot push my my name out of the screen just by using shadow. I was sitting in a coffee shop and I was thinking about it. Can I make a computer react to a shadow that happens on a screen? Well, I'm a computer scientist and I discovered that I can. If I've got a camera on my laptop, then I can just see where the shadow appears and then play with it. So the, the idea was to create a computer game that would interact with shadows on the screens. Here is the one of the prototypes. Uh, yeah. So I'm there, just moving around, and the paddle is, is moving here, just as I move. And, and, and the ball reacts, well, bounces off and of the paddle. So that was ki ki kind of cool. That was the prototype. It took me, I think, a week to, to construct. It's very cool when you stand in front of a screen and, you, and, and the screen reacts to you. It's like you become a part of the screen. You become the game. That's, that's very fun. But I was wondering, what else can I do with that? Because that was you know, nothing spectacular. I decided that I could blow the scale up. I could put it on a building. So the next video is a little better game based on the first one. Uh, on a screen that is on a building uh, at my faculty. So here it is. Uh, it's, it was night and <laughs> mm, we'll see everything in a second. All right, so there is a screen, quite large, larger this time. There am I, and there is a hand or something following my shadow over there. And yeah, here is the paddle, another version. It was quite, quite cool because I could see this large screen and well, play with it. So anyway, this was one of those. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let me play a little bit with that. All right. Uh, so this was quite fun, but I was wondering what else could I do with that? And the answer was, again, blow it up even larger. What I did is I found the largest possible wall uh, in Warsaw onto which I could project. That was the size of the wall. Oops. Here, here it is. If you want to get a sense of scale, here is a truck. This is the truck, right? And a person is standing over there. This is the size of a person, right? So it is, I would guess, 50 to 30 meters tall uh, building. Now, I found for free a uh, uh, projector strong, in, uh, strong enough to, to put an image on that wall. I gathered some people around who wanted to participate and I started a game on that building. I won't show you a video of that game, but it was quite similar to the previous one. Now, the idea behind that, because it's TED, so we need to talk about ideas and so on and so on, is that that building is something like, like an obstacle, not an obstacle, but it's a goal. And I'm looking for goals that are big enough to scare me. And if you would stand in front of a building and see how tall it is and wonder how much strength, you, uh, wonder that you will somehow direct the building, that could scare you a little bit. Then what you would have to do is prepare a plan, gather some people, tell them that what you're planning to do and do things and, and do the plan. Now, I wanted to show you this building for one reason, among others. So many reasons, but I want to tell you about one of them. It is the fact that the building was actually quite dark. That was the color of the building when I did the research, right? Uh, it was a brick building, quite dark. And I said, well, it cannot be perfect, but it's large enough. I will try to project the picture on that building anyway. Have you ever tried putting a projection on a dark thing? It's quite hard, right? Even during night. What happened is I come with all the equipment, all the people to the building, and that single day, someone paints the whole building white. 
<laughs> you can see that that guy over there is painting the building white. So a day before I was there, it was a dark building. Day after, I'm there to put a projection on the building, and it's the largest projection screen in Warsaw, available for free. It was something that I call serendipity. So the ability of making unexpected and unfortunate discoveries, especially while looking for something entirely different. There are goals that we have to do. Many of us are afraid of those goals. What I learned throughout my life is to rely on serendipity. Do things and hope that somehow, through some magical power, something will happen and it will work out just fine. I wish you luck in all your projects and I hope that you will believe in serendipity and serendipity will believe in you. Thank you.